In the first series of downs in San Francisco, John Brody hit Gary Lewis on a screen pass and the 49ers began to ramble. But Viking Roy Winston interrupted Lewis to tell him it was nothing to lose his head over. The 49ers kicked a field goal, but immediately thereafter, a rocket from the University of Texas at El Paso named Charlie West set the fashion for the day. Viking power, 82 yards worth before John Woit could catch him. Then 230-pound fullback Bill Brown made like a nimble flanker and dove behind Dave Wilcox to make Joe Capp's pass good for a touchdown. Before the half, Minnesota scored again and then started another drive with this 50-yard pass to Gene Washington. Washington was double covered, but he made out all right. But John Brody could not hit his favorite receiver, league-leading Clifton McNeil. Ed Shirockman stopped this try and ran it back 20 yards. Frustrated McNeil made the tackle. When Joe Cap couldn't find his receivers, he ran well himself. Reactivated Dave Osborne throws a great block, and 49er Dave Wilcox almost decapitates Cap. Then there was a long, very anxious moment, interrupted by an impatient referee who had been through it all before, but Cap gamely shook it all off, maybe because the scoreboard inspired him. Both teams were held to grudgingly small yardage on the inside all day. Ken Willard found it dangerous, and Viking Jim Marshall found it profitable. But late in the third quarter, the swing of the game was reversed. At first by number 39, Kermit Alexander. The ball was back in San Francisco hands, and the 49ers settled down. Number 85, Clifton McNeil, is so good, John Brody asked him to do a favor, throw instead of catch. McNeil hit Bill Tucker for a wide open 43-yard touchdown. McNeil had been held to a mere 32 yards receiving all day, but suddenly he was the best passer in the league with 100% complete this year. The 49er defense was tighter too. Cap was held to half the passing yardage he got off in the first half, when he could indeed get a pass off. John Brody finished the final 49er drive with a nice fake up the middle and a loop over the top to Gary Lewis for a touchdown. But the Vikings held on tightly and even got off a final field goal. As the time ran out, they preserved their tie in this entry division with the Chicago Bears and the 49ers faded out.